morning, everybody, wherever you are. My name's Kevin Turvey, but you can call me Kevin Turvey. <laughs> All right, settle down, settle down. I thought we'd start off with a little joke, right? Because this week I've been investigating death. Death. The grim rapist. <laughs> what is he? Where is he? Why is he? You could even say, is he? You could say, anything? Like, a lot of people say anything. I mean, like, the other day, right, I went round to see Theresa Kelly. It's like this girl that I know. Well, not like her. I mean, she is her, you know. <laughs> I just hope she is. <laughs> no, 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 I'm to you, I mean, so I decided to go and see her on the bus, right? Decided not to go in a car, like, because then I'd have to get, like, loads of money together and uh, book up a load of lessons and buy a car. It's just too much trouble. <laughs> so I went straight down to the bus stop, right, and started to wait. And just as I was, as I'd almost finished waiting, right, this bus started to come up the hill. I thought, great, I hope that this is a 64, like. I really hope it's a 64. And sure enough, it was. I thought, great. Well, it's bound to be a 64, really. Because only the 64's come up that way. <laughs> but I stuck my hand out to stop it. And it went straight past. Straight past. I thought... Well, I can't actually say what I thought, you know, because like, there's this rule at the BBC that says that you can't actually talk properly, you know. You have to pretend to talk the way that people who invented TV 50 years ago used to talk, right, when they were at dinner parties pretending not to swear. It's a very good rule. I don't quite know why they have it. I think it's probably to save money or something like that. Anyway, it's a very good rule. But it wasn't too bad, you see, when the bus went past, and I thought this word, because another bus started coming up the hill. Another 64, right? Not the same one, you know, because I'd have gone away. <laughs> <laughs> same one, right? If he turned left down Latimer Crescent, right, he told all his passengers, everybody, get off now, get off the bus very fast! And then he whizzed round the block, right, with an empty bus. Then it could have been the same one. But, like, they don't do that, do they? Or if they do, I haven't noticed, anyway. Don't think. So, anyway, I got on this bus and I went upstairs, because I wanted to look out the window, you know. And uh, they've got loads of windows up there, so it's a good place. <laughs> so I sat up there, sitting there for about, I don't know, five minutes, I suppose, looking at things, trees, houses. And the bus conductor came up. I said, 12, please. And he says, what do you got against the Irish? I said, he's got nothing against the Irish. And he says, oh, ha, ha, very funny. Look at him sitting there covered in sick. And everybody started laughing at me. And I wasn't covered in sick at all. It's a new anorak. <laughs> so I don't know what they were laughing at. I think they're probably laughing at what they thought I might have looked like if I was covered in sick. <laughs> but anyway, I just ignored it for the rest of the journey. But anyway, all that about the bus isn't important, right? I got round to Teresa's house. Right? I decided not to knock on the door, you know, because they got this bell, right? I thought I'll use that. <laughs> got my finger out and pressed the bell. And almost immediately, there was a pause of about a minute. Mini, ten seconds, and Mrs. Kelly came to the door. I opened it up, she says, All right, Kevin. I says, All right. Because I, I was, you know. <laughs> she says, All right. I says, Is Teresa in? And she says, Ah, oh, well, that's where you're in for a bit of trouble, isn't it, Kevin? Because she's out walking the dog. <laughs> and I know that their dog died in 1977. <laughs> I know that, because he's buried under my onions. <laughs> Not like the onions in my kitchen, right? The ones I grow in my garden. But, I don't grow them, you know, they grow themselves. <laughs> God grows them. <laughs> anyway, that's a different question, isn't it? So how could she possibly have been walking the dog? Unless it's had puppies. And how could it? I would have noticed that the onions had been disturbed. <laughs> so basically, what I'm trying to say is that if you go around to a girl's house, right, and she's not in, then don't count on her being in love with you. All right? <laughs> Till next week, I'm Chair Britain. Don't forget, if there's anything you want investigating, Kevin's here. Ha, ha, ha.